people of YouTube. My name is Nadia. Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Nadia, and I want to tell you a story. Actually, I want to tell you two story. Dos stories. Dos stories have to do with this uh, soccer ball. Well, not this one. That'd be creepy. Um, and this apple. Why I'm telling you two stories today is because they both tie in with one person. So, the first story has to do with the soccer ball. So, I'm going to tell you about the soccer ball story. So, I was in gym. I was just, we were outside, we were playing soccer, okay? So, we were just running down the field. And I was probably on the other side of the field from the ball. You know, I was. And this one guy, you know, had the soccer ball, was kicking it around, kicked it right over to me, it hit me right in the head. With his precision, I would have thought that he threw it at me. But he was in soccer, so... Anyways, it hit me right in the head. That's not the worst part. It hit me right in the head, and I fell over. That is how hard this a soccer ball hit me in the head. I fell over. Right over. And I uh, started to bow my eyes out. That was like mm, the first time I cried in school. I was in fifth grade. No, that was the second time. First time I got a bloody nose. It was, okay. Anyway, second story. And why these tied together is because it was the same person kicking the soccer ball and something with an apple. Set that down. Don't you roll away from me. Okay, Apple story. So, I don't know if other schools do this, but my school does. So, about in 6th grade, we go to this thing. It's called Outdoor Ed. And it's just where you go to a camp for a week. And it's a lot of fun. Everybody goes... I don't think anybody has the same behind. Anyways, there was this... There was activities we could do, okay? One exact activity a little, little, that we could do is make apple cider so we were making apple cider with apples it was it was pretty boring there but there was this crank crank it up smush all the apples and mix juice then we gotta uh drain all the peels and crap out of it so there were some rotten apples why they had these we don't know so they let us throw them out in the woods and i'm one Dumb duck. Yes, I'm a dumb duck. Dumb, dumb duck. So as we are throwing these rotten apples out in the forest, I was like, okay, here's the forest. Here's me. Here's the guy. The one, the only guy. And once I'm done throwing all my apples, I'm staying right here. I'm walking back. This guy decides to throw an apple but he aims low, right at my head. So the apple hurdles right to my my head, goes right across my face. And this apple is half rotten, half good. But this one's all good, you know, because don't want bad apple. <laughs> and it hits me right in the face. And I fall over once again. And ball my eyes out. You see the pattern? You see you see the pattern? That was the third and last time I ever cried in school. I don't I like I don't like people seeing me cry. It's it's horrible. But that hurt. I, I don't know. You probably have got an apple thrown at your head and you probably know how bad it hurts. You feel my pain. You feel my pain. Apples are so fun. They keep you healthy. And they are fun to play with. Unless you drop them. I broke the apple. You see that right there? I dropped it. And I broke it. Now I'm gonna have to go to jail for Apple Mark. And while you're there clicking away on your uh, computer, phone, I don't know, maybe a TV. Please like and subscribe if you want to, you know. Uh, 
I try to make YouTube videos whenever I can. Comment below, give me some feedback, please. It's now time for me to say goodbye. So just remember to be yourself and don't try to be anybody else. Goodbye! An apple a day keeps the doctor away. But one to the head gives you a concussion.